Hey there, I wanted to talk about lenses a little bit in this video. Mainly the subject of f-stops and what that means and how that changes things. I could go into millimeters, but that just has to do with zoom. Right now this is a 16 millimeter lens. It's the kit lens that comes with this camera. It's an A5100. And this is at 16. And here it is at at 50 millimeters. So, and as you see, when you the more you zoom in, the darker it gets. So, if you're dealing with photography, if you have a uh, telephoto lens where you can make the moon fill up the entire frame, um, you have to do the exposure for quite a bit longer. Now f-stops, with f-stops, right now I have, this this lens here has an f-stop of uh, uh, as low as 2, 2.0. And when that is fully open, you, it looks like this. You can close it down like this. It's a fully manual lens. Uh, it's a Pentax. Uh, lens from a film camera and you have the, the lens that I was using quite a, quite often in some of my later videos where uh, I don't know if you can see that or not this one doesn't have clicks for it you just it is it's all completely completely analog this lens has an f-stop of 1.7. The more light you let in, the smaller the focal point will be, which means anything that you're not focused on will appear more blurry. This can add a very cinematic effect to some things. This scene is from Stanley Kubik's Barry Lyndon, where he used a Carl Zeiss prime lens that was originally designed for NASA for use in the Apollo space program. And it has an f-stop of 0 0.7. And it's how he was able to film this in just candlelight, something that had never really been done before this. Now we're on the Fotazi 35mm 1.7 f-stop lens. And as you see, this part is clear and just something as far away as this part of my beard is blurry. It has a bokeh. That's what they call it. I believe it's a Japanese word. And that has to do with how things blur. Now, something to point note, to take note of. I'm going to turn this down while turning up the ISO a bit. Notice that more of my beard is clear. More of my face is clear. I have made the f-stop much higher. Let's keep going on that. Now we're going to start to get some grain because I've turned up the ISO quite a bit. But notice that almost the whole thing is clear now. That's how f-stops work. You can get an incredibly clear image by using a high f-stop setting. Um, the disadvantage is that you have to turn up the ISO. Now the thing about turning up the ISO, let me explain that too. Let's, let's, let's make this really, really dark. And I'm going to turn the ISO up to some insane levels. Okay. You notice how see all this weird grain that's here now? 
that wasn't there before. That's the disadvantage of using high ISO. It's almost like it's it's almost like it's artificially pumping up the brightness level. It's not doing anything with the lenses. It's using the camera itself to pump up the brightness levels. Right now, the ISO is at 5,000. Um, now we can keep going on that. Let's keep going on that. Let's make this as dark as I can with, with, the, uh, with the lens and we'll bring this up even more. And now look how look how horrible this looks. This looks terrible. But notice that um, my beard uh, is clear all the way around. But now we're at a an ISO of twelve thousand eight hundred. It's over nine thousand, right? Um. And so I like to have, I like using um, low ISO and uh, a low number on the uh, on the f-stops because it just, it has a really neat effect. I, I like it a lot. Because dance, because dance. If I pull back this this sheet here, you can see just how blurry it makes things in the background. I don't know if this explains anything more that you maybe didn't know, but this is one of the key elements to what can make a huge difference as to whether something looks cinematic or not. When everything, just about everything, looks totally clear, that's appropriate for some types of scenes. For other types of scenes, you want the background to be blurry and you want your subject to be clear. Now I'm on the Pentax lens. Um, I think I'm at 2.2 on the f-stop right now. Let's let's make it all the way bright. Okay, now it's at 2. It, this is a 50 millimeter lens. It doesn't do any, it doesn't have any sort of zoom at all. Neither does the, uh, the Fotazi. And this is the one that I'll use for night photography. Because it's, I mean, as you see, it's zoomed in way too much really to do any sort of reasonable videos featuring my face. My face! So... But it has a an, a, a minimum f-stop of two. Uh, uh, two. Ha 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 ha. Now back to the movie Barry Lyndon. These scenes were incredibly hard to film because the depth of field was almost none. It was very, very difficult to do. And now that you know what these settings do, this scene is really quite amazing. When it comes to distortion, notice the purple glow around the brightest part of the flames. <laughs> 